and I'm not surprised because it was a black conference, so best believe the food will be black. So it's quite dark, you can't really see me, but um, welcome. It's been a while since I've talked to the vlog, so I was thinking that today I would do like a daily vlog. Oh gosh, I'm just being washed out. But anyway, I was thinking I'd do a vlog whereby um, I take you along today, show you what's going on. Um, so basically, I'm going to the NUS Black Conference. Um, I'm still yet to understand what's going on and how it works. So that's something I'll probably explain when I get back. Um, but yeah, I have been locked indoors for quite some time, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you something different that I'm doing, document the day, and show you something new. Um, so I'm gonna walk it all over the, to, the, to the location, and it's like a 40 minute walk. Yeah, so I've had to get that music playlist on and prepared. I'm ready to go but yeah hopefully you enjoy today's video and I'll talk to you in a bit So, <clears throat> according to Google Maps, I'm only three minutes away from the venue. Um, it was like such a long walk, but I mean, I'm finally here. I've done worse anyway. Finally arrived. But we'll just do it as a pilot year, yeah? See how it goes. And that was in 1995, and we did, and we've been running since then. Why did they climate change um, and they were learning about people that are campaigning against climate change uh, through different techniques and they learned about a term called eco-warriors where people do tactics like chaining themselves to trees um, and they hammer nails into the trees so that if a chainsaw tries to cut them the chainsaw breaks. Um, so the student learned that in debate in the school, um, mentioned that in another class in the same school, a teacher got a bit worried to prevent was called in. Um, and this 14-year-old student was uh, asked, like, the, li the line of questioning that the student transmitted in terms of what happened was on another level. Uh, it was pretty much like, so you mentioned this term eco-warrior, what is that? And then the student said, like, oh, so it's like when people do things like this. Um, and, then the, and then the next line was like, so what happens when the chainsaw hits the nail? Does it all explode? Um, and what we're seeing through the stats related to the prevent duty uh, and through quite a lot of the statistics is that the government is really implementing it in a truly like quite racist and Islamophobic manner. What's up guys? So I've come back from the conference now and I am heading back home. It was really good actually and I had a lot of fun. Look at my official badge, wait. Uh, um, so it was really good. Um, 
and I even ran for NUS office, which was not planned, NUS committee, sorry, which was not planned, but it happened. Um, so I don't find out till May 7th if I get in. Um, so that's something cool to look forward to. Yeah, understand I haven't spoken to you throughout the whole day. So when I get back home, I will explain what happened and what you basically witnessed. Yeah, the sun's out, it's feeling good. So this walk back is feeling not stressful. It's feeling very nice. And I'm surrounded by green views. So <sighs> nothing better, I guess, you know, nature does have something to do with improving your mood. I've just gotten back from dinner um earlier on I recorded um basically a segment explaining what happened in the NUS conference but it was very long and so I thought I would just do it again now to cut it down and get things quickly off the chart um basically went to an NUS conference for black students black being all BME students um BME stand for black um, and minority ethnic or black and ethnic minority. But that was very interesting. It was really fun. It was my first conference ever. Never been to an NUS conference. Um, upon arrival, I got a few goodies, as you can see, nicely laid here from earlier on filming. But a voting card, a tote bag, a guidebook, a pen, and a flipping lanyard with my name on it. We basically had reports from both the UK and the Scottish um, Black Committee officers for NUS um, and we had a vote for the new Black Committee members, one um, where people basically nominated themselves, gave a speech, answered some questions and that was that. Lo and behold, your girl nominated herself, well not herself because I have to go and get three people to nominate me, but you get what I'm saying. Um, basically, I ran for committee. Um, it was very unexpected. I didn't go there with the intention to do so, but it happened. And so I don't know until the 7th of May um, onwards if I'm successful. On top of that, we also had a lunch during the course of the conference, which is really nice. We had things like couscous, jollof rice, kebab, um, quiche, um, pancakes. And also there was like some caramel cake, like it was lit. And I'm not surprised because it was a black conference. So I believe the food will be black. Um, so we had some motions as well, whereby committee members basically put forward propositions for the direction of the conference and the new committee and so that was really interesting basically all the motions passed hallelujah we also had an interesting workshop from um the uk um black students officer um who basically discussed about 
um, the PREVENT scheme, basically whereby the government is cracking down on terrorism and radicalisation, but not in the best way. Um, I will actually link a document below explaining the whole Preventing PREVENT um, campaign, which he was talking about in the description if you're interested in finding that out but in summary it's just basically how a lot of people have been unfairly targeted um and accused of being radicalized and going into terrorism or um yeah being seen to lead to terrorist acts and so they've been unfairly criminalized and this campaign the preventing prevent um is trying to stop that and address that it's the same situation as the stop and search um problem but a bit a bit more i guess complicated let's say <clears throat> there were like a couple more things that were like meant to be done at the end of the event but I skid out around there quite early because I've got a couple things to do and so that was the conference it was really good I got to meet some really great people it was really worth the trek 40 minute walk but it was a good one um, and it was really nice to see people there talk to people get some food um, and just really enjoy myself and feel comfortable in a great environment doing big things um, for people and trying to um, advance the position of black students. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about this new kind of vlog. Do you like a daily vlog or weekly vlog? What do you think? And um, make sure you hit that big red button and subscribe to this channel because your girl is uploading a ton of content and I need you to be ready to watch it. But I'll see you in another video. Take care, peace, love and bye. If you wanna hold one, yeah. Chase. Chase.